मग ती एवढा मोठा अवयव तुम्ही तुमच्या शरीरात सरळ कापून टाका डॉक्टर म्हटले म्हणून कापू या असं म्हटल्यावर वाईट वाटतंय की नाही एक नाव बॅडन दंद्र मून दयंद्र मातून चंद्र नव्हतं गँगीला अंदर सांड असतात तगला हैराण आता ते A strange phenomenon is occurring amongst Indian sugarcane cutters. आणि मग हे जे आहे तो तो प्रचंड मोठा आहे म्हणजे आमच्या बीड जिल्ह्यामध्ये ऊसतोड कामगारांमध्ये एक लेख लाखापेक्षा ही जास्त गर्भाशय नसलेल्या बायका आहेत. In the last few years in the Maharashtra region, one out of every 3 female agricultural workers has lost their uterus. The average in the world is only 3%. ते म्हणलं पिशी खराब झाली पी ह्याला गोळ्या औषध चलत नाही म्हणलं पिशी काढावं लागते म्हणलं जेव्हा हाऊस तोड महिला कामगार दवाखान्यामध्ये जातात त्यावेळी त्यांचा जो आजार असतो की अंगावरच जाणं वारंवार पोटात दुखणं ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टी मुळे त्या जेव्हा जातात त्यावेळी त्यांना असं वेगळी ट्रीटमेंट देऊन These are forced surgeries which are difficult to perform and which result in premature menopause in young women जर नाही पिशी काढली तर मग कॅन्सल होते In India, over 1 million workers are sent to the sugarcane fields every year. The country is the world's largest producer of sugar. How can we explain this incredibly high rate of hysterectomies among female workers? In industries along the river banks is something which is no more a uh, acceptable thing if uh, one were to consider uh, the human health of the country uh, the population health as a as a priority on s'est dit voilà il y a un problème de de, de toxicité aiguë chez uh, ces femmes là are indian sugarcane cutters the victims of poisoning Prabhavati has been working in these fields since she was 10 years old. Chal gore ek chal. Chal 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 gare la ji chal. She works 10 hours every day under the blazing sun with only one day off per month. Mulan he chiar o ajla pasun tin la tutao lagta. Kasa vatta he kahe gaam goto. Hum gaam hoto. She suffers not only from the heat but also from a very premature menopause. At 26, Pravavati had to undergo an irreversible operation, a complete hysterectomy, the removal of the uterus and the ovaries. Do kot hata pota madi. Mana na pressing kele. Ha, tu dali hoti pishuwar. Man taras hoya lagla manun manga pressing kele. Te ratsa dukta asa wakle dukta. Today she is 33 years old and looks 20 years older. There are many cases like Prabhavati's in the region. It is an unknown evil that has been spreading in recent years around the Bead district. This agricultural region is called the Sugar Belt. Thousands of hectares of sugarcane fields are used for processing and export. Here, the testimonies of female cane cutters without wombs are becoming more and more common. What is this evil that eats away at the sugarcane workers? One woman is fighting to find answers. For the past 6 years, Manisha Tolka, a social worker, has been traveling the region to record all cases of hysterectomies. This morning, accompanied by Kamimi, her assistant, she is in Katwada. Kutchali jay sri tai. 
It is a village of agricultural workers. मीटिंग ला घया ना अपने सग बायक जेव उस इत बस इत दार बसा जागा छान है ना Manisha started to investigate this issue five years ago, when she was approached by a sugarcane cutter who confessed that she'd had her uterus removed at the age of 20. Since then, she has been fervently collecting stories of women who no longer have a uterus. All the details are noted down to support the investigation. These are intimate details that are usually taboo in these villages. जास्त संख्या है उतोड़ी गर्भाशया पिशवी का फिर संख्या जास्त नहीं है तो फार कमी वे फार कमी वे गर्भाशया पिशवी का प्रश्न है मग ये जो है तो तो प्रचंड मोटा है मजे आम बीड जि उतोड़ कामगार मधे एक लेख लाखापेक्षा ही जास्त गर्भाशय नसलेल्या बायका है Manisha interviewed gynecologists and researched hysterectomies. She learned to read the medical files of the women who underwent the surgery. Here is the file of a woman who was operated on at the age of 25. According to the activist, in the majority of cases, the symptoms described in the files did not justify the surgery. No problem. When the house was in the house, the house was in the house. The house was in the house, and the house was in the house, and the house was in the house. The house was in the house, and the house was in the house. The house was in the house. In the safety of their homes, women talk about their experiences, often for the first time. Sheila was 22 years old when she had her operation. Today, she is 32. After a simple ultrasound, the doctor prescribed a complete hysterectomy. The uterus and ovaries were removed. Sheila, like all the other women we met, was not made aware of the side effects. फिजिकली ती हे होते मग ती हाड ठिसूळ होतात डोळ्यांची दृष्टी कमी होते आणि बाकीचे जे सगळे हे होतात मानपाठ दुखायला लागते त्याच्यामुळे दहा वर्षापूर्वी ऑपरेशन झाले म्हणजे वयाच्या बावीसाव्या वर्षी बावीसाव्या वर्षी त्या मोनोपॉजमध्ये आहेत वयाच्या 
आणि मोनोपॉजमध्ये असलेली व्यक्ती हॉर्मोनल इनबॅलन्समुळे प्रचंड मानसिक तणावात असते भावनिक तणावात असते भावनिक चढ उतार मानसिक ताण चिडचिड होणं काम न होणं मग या काय काय दिवस दिवसभर घडत बसते की चढ काय करायचं Ten years after an operation that cost as much as six months of her work, Sheila is still in debt. That kiti hazar card le hote? Tis hazar. Tis hazar rupee doctor chidaay sati. Paach rupee shekda ni gawa tum vaza ni card le hote. Kashi shekda card le hote? Paach rupee. Paach rupee shekda. Manje shambar rupee la paach rupee mahina la dave lagat hote vaz. Sheila is indebted to her employer. He is a man hired by a sugar factory to recruit agricultural laborers. Manisha denounces a system that would lead these women into a trap of having a hysterectomy. Their bodies are exploited and used. They are among the poorest workers in India for whom very few protective measures exist. In India we call it backward caste the scheduled caste and the tribes most of the sugarcane harvesters uh, they are the tribal laborers and uh, the dalit laborers that means the scheduled caste is a traditional form of uh, class discrimination because the people who didn't have access to the finance and access to the uh, knowledge and education they were they were largely toiling people they go with the family they have to camp from field to field because uh, they, they it is a very hard work they start early and they and they are paid on the basis of the actual harvest that they do uh, labor laws are hardly implemented in india and though there are efforts uh in terms of trade unions to organize them but they don't succeed in getting securing basic human rights and that's why their condition is very pathetic we went to one of these villages where many are laborers to try and understand the situation before the cutting season which will last 6 months The sugar factories need to recruit more than 1 million workers who come from all over Maharashtra. The sugar companies send recruiting agents, the so-called mukadam, to hire entire families. Aale di ta aale di. Zale kur kur kwana man zali ka. This man is in charge of recruiting in this village located 500 kilometers from the sugarcane fields. He will take care of about 20 people during the whole season. Kuiti palun jat astel, kai kuiti palun jate, tyancha olki nastyat. Amcha sagle tyancha olki padlele astyat. The mukadam is paid directly by the sugar factories to ensure the productivity of the workers in the fields. Aho he koyta na amcha samorja, he manu basla koyta avale jo amchi gaadi wanchi labor ami ku nele ka. त्या गाडीवानाचा पूर्ण दवा खाण्याचा खर्च बाजार हाट सगळं आम्ही त्यांना पुरवत होत कारखान्यावर असं उचल म्हणून द्यायचे त्यांना पैसे त्यांच्या अंगावर पैसे देतो उचल म्हणून ऑन दिस ऑक्टोबर डे इट्स टाइम टू लीव फॉर द शुगर केन फील्ड्स द होल विलेज प्रिपेअर्स फॉर द मूव्ह त्रास होत नाही बिगर त्रासाचे होती त्रास होत होती की पाट जाऊन उठावं लागते साडेतीनला उठायचं साडेतीनला जाऊन फाडात जायचं पण मग कधी कधी बायका सारखे दवाखाने द्यायचे इंजेक्शन करायचं गोळ्या घ्या एकदा औषध द्यायचं पुन्हा आणून आणि दुसऱ्या दिवशी उस तोडा जायचं दवाखाना चालूच आहे की तिथे कारखान्यावर त्यांची ते स्वतः भेटतील बायकांनी पिशवी काढून टाकलेली बरी हा जर नाही पिशवी काढली तर मग कॅन्सल होते असं होत कॅन्सल होऊन कॅन्सल झाल्या की मग बिघडत आहे Women would be operated on to remain productive. No more children, no more periods and no more pain, he believes. A mundane operation that is almost inevitable. Rekha, who is 20 years old, is already thinking about a hysterectomy. She suffers from recurrent and violent pain, the cause of which she does not know. Kai kat ma goli khaychi pita chi wo mi kai khaycha av gode dhoka dhoka kai tana ashakta pan aale nahi hota hat pai dhoka असं पोटात दुखले होते जरा 
The Mukhadam told her about the operation for the end of this season. If that's the price of keeping her job, she'll do it. She's been preparing for six months. Since she was 10 years old, Rekha has been working in the sugarcane fields with her family. This year, she will be accompanied by her husband, her two children, her mother and her sisters. They have only a few hours left to prepare their provisions. They have a long road ahead of them. Rekha belongs to one of the poorest castes in India. At the age of 13, her father forced her into an arranged marriage. At 15, she gave birth to her first child, her daughter, who will also work this year. Sonu, Rekha's father, used to be a farmer. He used to cultivate his family land at the back of his house. But over the years, global warming in the Maharashtra region has taken its toll on the soil. Since then, the family's living conditions have been getting worse and worse. They had no choice but to become migrant workers. The night falls and it's time to depart. The Mukadam pays the transport costs for Rekha's family. The rest of their salary will be paid in six months, 1,000 euros on average per married couple for the whole season. Tonight, families say their sad goodbyes. Every year, more than one million seasonal workers go to work in the fields. It's the biggest migration of workers in the world. Twelve hours on the road, at night and without stops. Yes, bathroom. I'm लेकरांसाठी वाईट वाटतं ना आम्हाला 
Poor living conditions and little privacy. For Rekha, being a woman in these camps is a challenge. In a society where menstruation is taboo, she tells us she uses this makeshift sanitary pad when she manages to be alone, often at night. The lack of hygiene and sanitary facilities in these camps can cause sugarcane cutters to develop infections and contribute to their gynecological pain. During menses, women should be explained how to maintain their perineal hygiene. They should be using clean cloths if they are using and how to maintain it so that they don't catch any infection because this is the time where majority of the females have urinary tract infection and other infections in the perineal region because in menses pH changes and without menses the pH is acidic which prevents from infection and once menses start this pH changes and then it predisposes these females to vaginal infections. It is 6 p.m. and the men leave to deliver the stock of the day to the factory. It is an opportunity to talk discreetly with Rekha and the women of her village. They tell us about the pressure they are under, despite their health problems. For this reason, when the Mukhadam and the doctors offer them a hysterectomy, they accept. It's a true sacrifice of their body in order to face the hard work of the fields. Rekha is just starting her season. For the next six months, she will get up at 3 a.m. to cut and carry these bales that can weigh up to 70 kilograms. The days when she does not work are not paid. For Rekha, her uterus has become a burden. She believes that a hysterectomy will help her to work even harder. We went to the factory, which uses the sugarcane. Sohail Singh is the manager. 
he agreed to give us a tour. Here, tons of sugarcane are delivered and processed each day. This sugarcane processing factory is one of the oldest in India. Built in the 1940s, its facilities have not been renovated since. There are no safety standards at all. Normally, sugar production requires robust machinery. The juice from the crushed cane is boiled in pressurized tanks at extreme temperatures. Here, they are on the brink of imploding. No matter how old the machines are, they are running at full speed. Here, fast production is essential. These crystals are then dried for several hours. They are transformed into raw material. For several years, India has been in a fierce race to compete with Brazil in sugar production. With 30 million tons produced in 2019, the country has become for the first time number one in the world. Early 1950s, the first cooperative sugar mill was established. In 60s and 70s, they became more prominent. And why they rose to 200? Because everyone thought uh, to be a leader, sugarcane became a very important cash crop. And people, uh, particularly farmers, the cultivators, uh, they could uh, get, uh, you know, good returns for the uh, crop that they were growing. And the state gave a lot of support in terms of irrigation and uh, uh, electricity uh, power uh, to pump the water to irrigate the crop. So uh, sugar cane uh, became a very important, not only economic crop, but also politically. And uh, the sugar barons, uh, they have created their, their own uh, uh, interest groups all over the state. These uh, sugar cane barons, uh, uh, Sakhar Samrat, they control the Maharashtra state economically and politically. In 2020, Maharashtra alone provided half of the country's exports and recorded a 20% increase in production. Sugar cane cutters have never worked so hard. Is the manager aware that many of his workers have had surgery? He has vaguely heard about the problem. Raising awareness amongst politicians is exactly what Manisha has been trying to do for the past five years. We find the activist as she continues her field investigation. 
Many times, she has witnessed the same story. The doctors talk about the risk of cancer, while the records show only mild infections. She wants to introduce us to Santabai, a sugarcane cutter who escaped a hysterectomy. गर्भाशया मुख है ना इन्फेक्शन है सेम गोष्ट आंती कताई ऐसी सुना ची भी है Thanks to Manisha, she went to get a second opinion at a public hospital. The doctor told her that no hysterectomy was required and prescribed a three-month treatment. Adnan, Adnan, ah, he, he, Azara, badal jan sa Adnan ne ta bai kan sa solution ho tuts. Ani tanna fakt ve pain asta, ta pain no ko asta, tras no ko hai, to tras kami hai jas, to manun ta karta. मान्य करता ती गोष्ट त्यांना थोडस माहिती आहे हे काढायचं असत नसत ते डॉक्टरलाच माहित असत ना त्याच कॉन्सिल आणि एकाही केसच कॉन्सिलिंग नाही होत सगळ्यात महत्वाचं विदाऊट कॉन्सिलिंग तुम्ही कसं ऑपरेट करू शकता ट्रीटमेंट तरी कसं करणार हा आपण ती जर आता ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टी आहेत ना त्यातलं आतलं जे नॉलेज आहे कि डॉक्टर चुकीची ट्रीटमेंट देऊ शकतात डॉक्टर चुकीचं ऑपरेशन करू शकतात तो पैशा सा डॉक्टर अे करता जनरल एक नहीं ना इतने दा डॉक्टर तेज करता मग हमें अस कि दा लोग करता बरबर आल टू गेट देर पेशंट्स दीज डॉक्टर्स डू नॉट हेजिटेट टू गो डायरेक्टली टू द विलेजेस दे रेग्युलरली ऑर्गनाइज फ्री स्क्रीनिंग कैम्प्स टू अट्रैक्ट अ मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ वुमेन एक तो बायको अंगा जो तो हे महत्व की बारी मजा घर मैं कहला मैं बायको प्रॉब्लम है बायको सारे संगाई मैं पड़े आई कि अंगा चार दिवस दह दिवस जता हो पांडर आयाम मजी आई कैंसर न मेरी तो मैं भीत हो तो मैं तो अचानक मग अभी एक बारी गावत आई कि डॉक्टर घोलवेक महिला तपास है कि आई बारी आई कहीं अंगनवाड़ी बाई ना आशा वर्कर न डॉक्टर घोलवेक गली शिबीर लग तिथ स सगैला बसन दोन तीन हजार बायका जमल हो स्वतः तपास सोनोग्राफी के लिए फ्री में के लिए एक चक्कर बिक्कर मार्ग दिल कि तुला आज से आज ऑपरेशन कराव लगन Why would organizers and doctors encourage these procedures? Before leaving the region, we collected medical records of women we met who had undergone surgery in the last 2 years. This pain may be because of infection, persistent infection like majority of the females are having chronic PID, chronic cervicitis. which is the cause of infections in them if there is infection treat with medicine yes she was just having infection and her ovaries are normal this is an ultrasound it's a young female if we are removing ovaries at this young age this is going to create problem in her future life as it helps in oxygen metabolism nitrogen metabolism it is important for your bone health for your cardiovascular health e- even for your mental health if we have some infection in our finger we can't just chop it off we have to first find out the cause of that infection treat that infection with medicine and if there is any problem there is gangrene or there is some major problem then only we require amputation so you can't just remove an organ because it's having some problem and it's like an in house in the bead district the epicenter of the problem Manisha Tokel says she has discovered an elaborate fraudulent scheme. In 5 years, she has collected hundreds of testimonies. Together with her daughter, she has gathered enough evidence to denounce the so-called hysterectomy market. These surgeries are now billed by private clinics between 600 and 900 euros, which is twice as expensive as a childbirth. <laughs> खूब भयानक है अति गैरफायदा इतने डॉक्टर घता है अस मज मत है कारण अस है कि इतक मोटा प्रमाण हिस्टोक्टॉमी जे होता है तठीमागे खूब मोटी डॉक्टर की यंत्र है लॉबी है चुकी पद्धति हिस्टोक्टॉमी होता है इन टू थाउजेंड एंड एटीन मनीषा वेन टू मुंबई द इकोनॉमिक कैपिटल accompanied by the female sugarcane cutters 
In front of the press, she denounced the private clinics and this very profitable market. The scandal broke out in the local media. The government intervened and said they wanted to put an end to these abusive operations. They set up controls. Since then, in the city of Bede, the number of operations has dropped from 120 per month to 80. This is still very high. In this city of 200,000 inhabitants, private clinics are everywhere, and they all boast of performing hysterectomies. They are amongst the most expensive operations. We go to one of these clinics where hysterectomies are performed every week. On this day, in the waiting room are about 10 women. Most of them are agricultural workers. On the first floor, there are two cases of hysterectomies, one operated on this morning and the other one about to undergo her operation. The operation cost her the equivalent of eight months' work in the fields. She also had to go into debt. We meet Dr. Kolfer in his office. He was the one who prescribed the total hysterectomy to Santabai due to a simple infection. We met a patient, her name is Mrs. Kara de Hawad. She said that she consults you and she did like all the examinations here, the sonography and everything. And she said that she say that she needed an hysterectomy. But then she met another doctor and this doctor said that she didn't need this hysterectomy. Um, how did it happen? Maybe patient turned up here, but uh, I don't know exactly what patient is here saying. Maybe she is lying, don't know. Ah, you think she is lying? Maybe. Uh, because some media says that some doctors in Bid were taking profit of some women to make business and gain money thanks to the hysterectomies. What do you think about that? I think uh, this is not true. Nowadays, every gynecologist is taking the permission of civil surgeon. Mm -hmm. After the permission, after the gynecologist is checking from civil authority, only when he gives the permission, then the people start doing hysterectomy. According to him, cases of removal of the uterus for simple infections do not occur anymore. He invites us to follow the morning operation. A sugarcane cutter will have her uterus removed. He tells us it is for very good reasons. That is a big fibroid in the uterine cavity. Mm -hmm. Due to which patient is having severe pain in abdomen during menses, in absence of menses and during menses heavy bleeding. You can take a look of that uterus and fibroid. Do, do you find a lot of that kind of cases here? Yes, yes, many cases. At least fifty percent. So many things, but exact cause still don't know. This is just going on. Dr. Golfer does not explain these striking and frequent cases of fibroids. These fibroids could be the cause of the intense and chronic pain that these women experience. But then, why do so many female agricultural workers develop such conditions in the region? In the sugar belt, no one asks questions. Women get sick as early as 20 years old. They suffer and they are operated on. We will have to look for answers elsewhere. How do you explain that so many women are suffering maybe of PID or endometriosis in this area? Can it be linked to the pesticides, to the pollution, to the environment? About pesticides, till now uh, very few studies are there and no study has linked this uh, fibroid or endometriosis with the uh, exposure of heavy metals. So I have gone through the literature and in that I found that uh, they have studied for three heavy metals, for lead, for cadmium and mercury. They found that there are few odds of females who had fibroids who were exposed to cadmium. Could there be a link between the pain these women experience that leads to these mass hysterectomies and environmental pollution? This is an angle that we want to explore. Indian agriculture uses a lot of pesticides, some of which are banned in Europe. We return to the bead region with a kit provided by a French laboratory. This kit is the only one able to detect the presence of more than 1,800 different pollutants and 49 metals. Namaste. 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 
We collect strands of hair from five sugarcane cutters who have undergone a hysterectomy. What do you want to stay here? Yeah. Okay, great. Mm. Mm. Oh. Yeah. And did she get her surgery? But it never I would see that. Tell 10 to 12 years ago. And why did she do a surgery? Sarkas for it, Rosa. There, the Sarkamaji Punapuna Agudur Toda de Woodlucky, the Atma designs, Punapuna Atma designer, just just the yellow. Okay, good. The samples were sent to France to be analyzed in a laboratory. One month later, we received the results. They were very worrying. The analysis revealed the presence of pesticides, but that was not the most serious part. The women's hair contained metals in unprecedented quantities, never seen before in the laboratory. On a observé une intoxication et une contamination au barium. Pourquoi on parle d'intoxication Parce que pour nous, elle est de, de soit aiguë, soit sub-aiguë, parce qu'elle est, elle est assez élevée, parce qu'elle est à entre 80 fois, voire 170 fois le, le seuil de toxicité chronique que nous avons, nous, déterminé. Et donc, on n'est pas dans le, les examens que nous avons l'habitude de, de rencontrer et d'observer. Parmi les premiers effets, c'est les douleurs gastro-intestinaux, abdominaux, etc. Donc ça peut être des fibromes, ça peut être des atteintes dermatiques, des atteintes cardiaques, jusqu'à des, des fatigues intenses, vous voyez Donc le barium, vu les taux élevés retrouvés, on s'est dit, voilà, il y a un problème de, de, de toxicité aiguë chez euh, ces, ces, ces femmes-là. Là, on retrouve la même chose chez les cinq femmes. Donc, euh, c'est d'origine environnementale. This land is highly contaminated. Barium and rare earth metals occur naturally in this environment, but in very small quantities. They are used in the chemical and high-tech industry, as well as the production of agricultural fertilizers. They are highly soluble in water and can spread over hundreds of kilometers in rivers and water tables and pollute large areas. This pollution could come from electronic waste and industrial sites, even if they are far away. In India, 70% of uh, human requirement for water is uh, completed through groundwater table. But, uh, 40% of the diseases nowadays are now emanating from the water that has been used out of this groundwater table. So, I mean, the Central Water Commission in its report has been emphatically saying that, you know, of all the four or five major rivers in India, Brahmaputra, Ganges, um, Narmada, Godavari, uh, the, the heavy metal content has been uh, over and above the World Health Organization limits and as well as the Bureau of Indian Standard limits. Setting up industries, allowing household or domestic uh, uh, you know, discharges, effluents into the rivers um, and industries along the river banks is something which is now no more a acceptable thing. If uh, one were to consider uh, the human health of the country, uh, the population health as a, as a priority. The joint and abdominal pain that these women suffer could be due to their work on these contaminated lands. The hysterectomies performed as a consequence do not solve their problems. On the contrary, they worsen their state by making these women age quicker. This week, Maharashtra has seen an average of 250 deaths between the 31st of March and the 6th of April, compared to 32 deaths between the 10th and 16th of February. There have been 81 COVID deaths in six days within the district, but COVID fatalities are being brought here from many areas of Maratwada. This crematorium in Aurangabad district has seen a spurt in funerals for COVID victims. Since our last meeting with these women, 
A second wave of COVID-19 has hit India hard, especially the Bead district. The sugarcane season ended in a hurry, and since then, its female workers are at a standstill. We send the results of our tests by email to Manisha. Alors pour préserver leur santé, je vais vous dire en toxicologie, il faut évincer le contaminant. Pour évincer, c'est pas fatal, il faut qu'elle s'éloigne de la source. Dans ce cas-là, c'est leur environnement. Pour elle, vu les taux élevés, c'est facile à conclure, il faudra qu'elle euh, qu s'éloigne de, 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 de cet environnement. Voilà. Après, ont-ils les moyens, n'ont-ils pas les moyens Ça, c'est un autre problème. We tried to contact the health authorities of Maharashtra to inform them of our test results. Namaskar. COVID-19 को बढ़ने से रोकने के लिए देश का सभी लोग करें। थोड़े दिनों के लिए केवल बहुत जरूरी होने पर ही घर से बाहर जाएं और भीड़ भाड़ से। Since the COVID-19 pandemic, it has been difficult to get someone on the phone. Our calls and written requests have so far gone unanswered. In the meantime, Manisha's efforts manage to inspire. In southern Maharashtra, in the sugar belt, people are starting to raise their voices so that the problem is no longer ignored. Four years ago, Apana Kunte, director of a local radio association, discovered the situation of the female cane cutters in her region. <laughs> She then decided to create a special station to give them a voice and make their voices heard. So our radio, Yeralavani, 91.2 FM. Uh, we cover almost uh, 80 villages, 80, and uh, population around uh, 85 or uh, less than that, 60 to 65,000. Every week, Apana goes to these villages to do prevention work and collect testimonies of women who have undergone this operation and who regret it today. This afternoon, she has an interview with Sangeeta, 
a 26-year-old sugarcane cutter who has had surgery a few months ago. Their interview is recorded. Like thousands of others, Sangeeta had her uterus removed under pressure from a doctor. The young woman refused at first, but her husband and family pushed her to have the operation, thinking it would save her life. Sankita has since fallen into depression. As a mother of two children, she regrets that she will never be able to give birth again. Actually, many times this happens when we are late. But uh, we try like this, many of them are there. This is just one example of it. But in this, this area, you can have many, many, many such problems which we are dealing in in our daily life. So every time there is something, we have to think about a broader angle and we have to treat it uh, that we should stop something to be happening. Sangeeta's testimony will be aired tonight on this community radio station. <laughs> Namaskar Shroteho, Yeravani, 91.2 FM Varji Sarvansa Swagat, Shroteho, it is a strong example that Apana hopes will raise awareness among other female agricultural workers and dissuade them from taking action. All these women and activists have already won their first fight. The female cane cutters have come out of the shadows. Their problems are now brought to light in India, the world's largest sugar producer.